Love, light, and blessings. This is Shamanic Outlet Priestess here. Um, most of my videos are usually planned. Uh, I was saying recently, I'm a very organized person. Um, I plan my videos. Um, usually, I know, like, um, at the end of the year, uh, what videos I'm going to be uh, creating for the following year um, and things of that nature. But there is occasion on my channel when I make a kind of last minute impromptu video and so um, I'm gonna be making two today but I decided to keep them separate um, one is gonna be some important uh, updates on my website but I don't want to put it on this video this video in particular um, is because of what's going on as a woman as a fellow human being as a person of color you know um, I just want to say that I fully support um, my Asian brothers and sisters siblings um, community because they have literally been um, according to the latest stats 145 percent increase in hate crimes towards asian americans um i'm not saying that there wasn't racism before but within the last year um there's been approximately um either about three thousand or over three thousand instances of uh, hate crimes against Asian uh, Asian people um, because of coronavirus and um, certain politicians that were and continue to spew calling it China flu and uh, um, Hong Kong flu and all these kinds of derogatory things um, no, I'm not an Asian person. I don't know what it's like to be an Asian person, but I do know what it's like to be a woman. I know what it's like to, and, and the challenges that comes with that, with gender inequality. Um, I know what it's like to be part of the LGBTQ plus IA community. And I also know what it's like to be a person of color, you know, and all the challenges that comes with that. And I just wanted to make this video to let you know that many of us more of us are outraged by the violence that occurred in georgia where a white supremacist i don't care what the media is saying um literally went to and specifically targeted multiple asian business asian owned businesses massage parlors um, and thought that they could just go and shoot eight people lost their lives seven of those people women six of those people asian women um and we have to admit there is this fetishizing this uh you know treating female asian women as fetishists and they're human beings with feelings I can relate to that as someone who's part Native American. It's one of the reasons why I stopped straightening my hair. When I would straighten my hair, I would get, oh, Pocahontas, and have people, you know, sexually harass me and be sexually inappropriate. Uh, oh, I would like to know what it's like to be with Pocahontas and things like that. Because there is a lot of um, f people do fetishize Native American women too um, and things of that nature. And women in, of color in general, Latinas, black women, you know, the stereotypes that um, society has with women of color where we're not sometimes seen as human, but um, as stereotypical hot Latina, the strong, angry black woman, the submissive Asian women, these things are not true, you know, and, and People might not think it is, it is hurtful, but it's harmful. The, you know, sexy Indian Native American woman and things of that nature. These stereotypes do hurt. This person who claimed to have a sexual addiction said they were going to kill themselves. But instead of doing that, they went and killed other people. And it's really sad how the media is empathizing, humanizing the murderer, the terrorist, okay, but doesn't give any uh 
place or space for the victims to speak or humanizing the victims or um, they saying because they don't have access to the name and supposedly whatever the case may be but each and every time look at the the, the capital riots on January 6 humanizing QAnon and, and white supremacy uh, groups and people that tried to overthrow the election the way they cover them all these poor people that were so no I'm so tired of white supremacists being humanized and then the victims of the crime the the people that are suffering under these white supremacists these races these radicals these terrorists why can't we not call these people what they are they are literally domestic terrorist because if it's someone who comes from another country America is quick to call you a terrorist but when you are a white supremacist the media and the government cannot call you what you are you are a terrorist you are reigning terror and I just want everyone to know that this is a safe space that I want to always be an ally and I'm going to take it upon myself to research and look for ways in which I can be an ally and help the cause. Because when I was marching for Black Lives Matters, I saw black people, I saw white people, I saw Latinos, and I saw Asians, and I saw Native Americans and Middle Eastern and so many people of color, white people, and just when you do things like that, when, when humanity unites under a cause, we are powerful. And we cannot stand by and watch people being brutalized and killed in this way. Because as a black and Native American woman, I do know what it's like for people to judge you for the color of your skin, for your ethnic features. I know what it's like to be racially attacked. And so when I see things like that, it just causes me so much sadness, but it also causes me the passion to fight and do what we have to do to change things. Because I always say, I believe that we can change the world. I believe it. And I believe that if enough of us say enough is enough, the government will have to listen, laws will have to be passed, people will be prosecuted, and people will be brought to justice. That's what I believe. We cannot be silent. Silence is complacent. When you are complacent, it's just as harmful as those who are doing it. So please join me and let's be allies. Let's give this platform for any of my Asian subscribers um, any Asian YouTube content creators, any Asians in my own life, I'm with you. I'm here for you. I would love to hear your thoughts on this because, again, I'm not an Asian American. I'm not Asian. I don't know that experience. I, don't, I only know my experience as a marginalized individual. But I do know what discrimination feels like. And I just want to tell you, I support you guys. And I would love to see a video, comments in the comment sections here. I'm here for you. Um, let's talk about it. Let's discuss this. Let's find ways. I, I would love to see people mobilize like they did with Black Lives Matters protests. I would love to see that. I would love for people to unite. Not only did they attack Asian people, they attacked women. If you're a woman, this should offend you. If you're a man, this should off if you are human, this should offend you. This should make you sad. Much love and light and blessings. And I, I'm sorry, I'm like trying not to be emotional, but I just, I hate racism. I really do. Um, my manicure is uh, the one I'm always talking about that I go to her like every two to three weeks. Um, I was telling her, I pray for her every day because I do. And she was telling me that she's been getting a rise in, in people calling for appointments and then yelling at her 
like what you sound asian and she's like yeah i'm asian and oh i don't i don't support asians and then like saying a bunch of racist derogatory stuff and then hanging up the phone so she's being harassed a woman who has never done anything she's the sweetest kindest person who is an owner of a small business that loves doing nails she has never showed any form of racism to me always been nice to me most of her clients are actually black women and people of color it's disgusting like come on yes coronavirus sucks and this has affected us so badly but to sit here and blame an entire ethnic group an entire race of people we can do so much better than that, guys. Much love, much light, much blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next video, guys.